All right, guys. Oh, it's time to get started. You guys see what's on there, right? <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but it's my little pompano rig, as you guys know. All right, let's get it in here. Got a new little bag too for my stuff because my other one was ripping. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Oh. What's up guys, your boy Jay Fishy here checking in and uh, taking you guys to the seawall today to try those pompano rigs out. You know the ones I bought the other day that I told you guys I got them at Walmart for a dollar or whatever? I'm gonna go try those out at the seawall. I haven't been there try to try those out guys. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they got pompano around here. I know I caught one there a long, probably my third episode or so. There's a high activity today on my apps and uh, the tide is probably around 11 a.m. So it's pretty early for that, but uh, incoming tide, you know, I'm gonna test it out guys uh right now it's only uh it's not even 7 a.m yet the sun's already up it's a beautiful floor today let's get fishing all right guys well, one thing i didn't take into consideration was this wind <laughs> but hey i'm already out here i'm gonna give it a shot anyways guys all right guys almost to the beach here Whew, what a walk look at that guys what a beautiful view love it guys you gotta love it wow super low tide guys but uh we'll see what happens hey you never know i guess right <laughs> on the bright side guys we're the first ones out here so uh we get choice of uh, spots and you already know where i'm going guys straight to the back over there i'll see y'all when i get there all right guys well we're here we got the whole area to ourselves once again. I don't know if that's a good thing, guys. Let me know. Will you guys be happy when you show up to your fishing spot, your favorite fishing spot with uh, no one here? It seems like a good, good thing, but uh, hey, maybe it's a bad sign. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, I set up here at the point, but uh, I'm going to be walking it with my pompano jig for at least a good, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. See if I get any bites. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all there. All right, guys. Well, we're just walking this beach uh, line here with the pompano jig seeing what happens guys uh i've been seeing a lot about teasers guys uh i probably should put one on mine but uh hey i don't have one right now so i'm just gonna keep trying like this i see if anything bites this jig all right guys well i'm not giving up on the jig but uh i seen something jumping over there like kind of feasting right along the seawall uh last time those it was like that it was jack guys so uh what i'm gonna do is i brought some live shrimp and uh i'm gonna give it a shot guys real quick and then i'm gonna if i can't get nothing on that other than those little lane snappers i'm gonna switch right back to this pompano jig but uh yeah, guys, I'll see you on a bit for that. Well, guys, I haven't had much luck with what I've been using, so uh, I'm switching to this little jig head, and I'm going to try out these uh, pearl chads. Chads. Let's see what happens, guys. Well, guys, just so y'all know I didn't get skunked, I'm going to show y'all one lane snapper. <laughs> Man, I knew it. I knew if I threw towards that wall, it was going to be a lane snapper, guys. And sure enough, let me get him back in there, guys. Here he goes, guys. Get out of here, buddy. Well, guys, I've been out here all morning and uh, <laughs> nothing, guys. But, man, there was so much action. I'm just doing something wrong, guys. But, uh, yeah, I've tried everything, guys. I had a mullet uh, artificial on a jig. I had uh, my pompano jig and I tried shrimp. Da dead, live, nothing, guys. But uh, I'm going to keep trying and see what happens, guys. Well, guys, a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I'm heading to another spot now. Just got to get to the car. <laughs> After this long trail, guys. A lot of people fish from there, but uh, I've never really seen no fish there. I don't know. It's probably a good spot, though. But see you guys at the car. All right, guys. Let's go on to the next spot. Man, guys, what a tough day. I can't go out like that, and uh, I'm going to go to that other park. I'll see you all there. All right, guys, we're here, but... uh. Unfortunately, all the good spots are taken, guys. Yeah, we're pretty late, so uh, found a spot here, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot, guys. I mean, hey, you never know. It's always good to try a new spot, cause uh, you never know what could happen, guys. All right, guys. Well, we found this spot. I already got my line in, as you guys could see over here. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely. I have to wade here, so I'm here in the water. Oh, look, I got a bite. Oh man, guys. Ah, well, you've seen it live, guys. I just missed my bite. Wow. There's something here, though, guys. Let's go. 
I gotta uh, get another shrimp in there. Oh man, that sucks so much, guys. I've been waiting for a bite like that all day and it finally happens. Oh, oh. let me get back in, guys. Oh man, guys, I can't believe I missed that bite. Pretty aggravated about that, but uh, you know what they say, guys, it's always when you're doing something else that you're not paying attention, right? Oh man, guys. Well, let me get back in there, guys. That's all I can do. Let's go, guys, finally. I know I didn't record when I had him in the water, but it was mainly because I was scared I was gonna lose him again. I just had one of these. I found him, guys. Let's go. Nice little trout, guys. Speckled trout. Come on, buddy. Let me get him off. Quick little release on this guy. There he goes, guys. There he is, guys. Look at the spots on him. Beautiful fish. Let me get him out of here, guys. There he goes, guys. Get out of here, buddy. All right. We did it, guys. We got a good fish. There, look at that. I knew I heard something, guys. Get out of here, buddy. Man, I wonder if he was messing with my stuff, actually. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have... Wait, is there another one? I knew I heard something in these bushes, guys. I was kept looking back because I kept wondering what it could have been. Make sure there's no more raccoons, guys. But uh, you guys seen it, guys. I got me a nice little uh, trout. Let's go, guys. Uh, yeah, let me keep uh, getting my shrimp back in there, guys. See if I get another one. See you. Got another one, guys. Let's go. Another trout. Pretty one. Look at those spots, guys. Let me get them out. There he is, guys. Nice. Come here, buddy. It's okay. I'll get you back. Oh, there he goes. He got off the hook. Already. I didn't even have to get him off, guys. Oh, and there he goes, guys. <laughs> oh, you guys seen it. I landed him, got him in the hands. Now he's out of here. We found him, guys. Let's go. Look at this, guys. You know what it is. Poor man's tarpon, guys. I wish it was a tarpon. <laughs> Got me a ladyfish, guys. I haven't seen these in a while here, but uh, they're all, I guess they're coming in. Must be time for them to come in. Oh, perfect. Got them off the hook without having to touch them because I don't know if you guys know, man, but these ladyfish do not smell good. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Got me tangled up in these mangroves here. Hold on, let me help this guy out. There you go. Get out of here, guy. <laughs> I wonder if that's what I had earlier, guys. Because that bite was a little different than the others. But nice, hey man. I'll take the action right now because as you guys can tell, I'm suffering for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys. Let me get back in there. Let's go, guys. Another one. Got another trout here. Oh, this is a nice size one actually. Oh, no, nah, it's about the same size. Sometimes they look bigger when they're in the water, guys. You know how that goes. Let me get them off that, guys. Look at the spots on them, guys. Nice. <laughs> right? <laughs> Another species, guys. Look at this. I think this, I think it's a pinfish. thought it was a sheep set at first, but uh, nope, it's a pinfish. This is what was eating my shrimp earlier. A little sucker. Let me get them off of there, guys little tiny thing here guys he was causing me all kinds of problems when i first got to this spot i kept getting my shrimp eaten and i couldn't even feel the bite it was him i know it was <laughs> let's go guys a whole nother species let's go guys i think it's the biggest one of the day hopefully it's a keeper i'd love to do a catch and cook for you guys with trout man this one looks pretty good actually let me uh let me get my measuring tape and measure him real quick guys nice right guys well it's the biggest one of the day but uh still a little too small just an inch too small guys so uh let me get them back in guys here he goes guys let me get him back in there it's been out for a minute get out of here buddy look at him guys the trout came to play today let's go uh, about the same size i've been catching all day guys let me get him off there yeah i mean yeah he's too small i can already tell look at that perfect hook set though <laughs> Let me get him off, guys. Here he is, guys. Man, it's been a while since I caught these guys. I'm so happy the bite is so good right now for them. I haven't caught them in a while. What are you doing, buddy? You over here chasing these bait fish now? 
Look at this, guys. He doesn't want to leave. He's going to the shore. Come on, buddy. No, you're not delusional. Get on that. Look how, look how close he lets me get to him again, though, guys. There he goes. <laughs> he found his way out. All right, guys. That's, I think, five on the day. Let's keep going, though. I got a couple more shrimp. I don't have too many more. Probably like two or three live ones and a couple dead ones. So let me throw them in here and see what happens, guys. Oh my God, guys, let's go. Let's go. This has to 100% be a keeper, guys. There's no way he's not. Here, I'm gonna measure him live on thing with you guys right now. Look how big this one is. Wow. Oh, yep, 15 on the dot. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Uh, let me get him off there and I'll give him a better measure, but he's 100%. Wow, is that a little injury there? But that's not gonna keep me from doing the catch and cook with you guys. Let's go, guys. Man, these guys are super slippery. I'm so scared to drop them. So uh, let me just uh, put them in my bucket. And uh, yeah, guys, let's go. This one was crazy when he bit too. I didn't even think I was going to be able to land him, but I sure did. And guess what, guys? We're having trout for dinner. <laughs> Here he is, guys. Look at this. Look at those beautiful spots. Come on, guys. I got dinner. Let's go. Guys, we hadn't had a bite in a while, and I was starting to think, man, they're gone. But uh, here we go, guys. Little sheep's head. Probably about the size I always catch here. But I hadn't seen one all day. And then after those trout, it had been a while since I seen anything. So I didn't think I was gonna catch much, but hey, we got him guys. Let's see if I can get this hook off. Uh, let me get the hook off guys. <laughs> here he is guys. <laughs> Man, like I said, it's been a while since I caught one of these. So uh, I didn't even recognize that bite. I knew it was a little strange compared to what I've been getting today, but yeah guys, what a day, man. I got one more little piece of shrimp, guys, and uh, I'm going to toss it out and see what happens. But, uh, yeah, guys, man, it ended up being a jam-packed day, guys. I'm so happy because, uh, you know, this morning sucked at the seawall and all that. But, uh, hey, we turned it around, guys. You got to do that sometimes. Sometimes you got to switch spots and, uh, you know, try it out somewhere else, especially somewhere new like this. Like I said, when I first got here, I didn't uh, have no hope, guys, because all the good spots were taken. But, uh, you know, I said, you know what? Let me just pick a spot, and I picked this random spot I've never fished here before, guys. And uh, launched my uh, shrimp in there, and you guys seen it. Started getting them trout. But uh, all right, guys, let me throw my last piece in there, and if not, I'll see you guys at the house because I'm gonna be cooking up that trout. All right, guys. Well, it's time to check out of here. Uh, I'm out of shrimp, but uh, you seen it, guys. These mangroves paid off, like they always kind of do, but uh, sometimes I don't have the faith in them that I should. But uh, you guys seen it? A uh, new spot new kind of fish let's go guys but anyways i'll uh i'm getting this trout home and i'm gonna fillet them up and uh i think i'm gonna have fried trout guys so we're having fried trout for dinner tonight or probably lunch actually because it's still a little early and i'm already hungry guys so uh yeah i'll see you guys back at the house peace all right guys let's get out of here oh oh guys what a day what a day what a hot day actually <laughs> luckily we're here at the mangroves because it's a little more shady i was able to get some shade from uh the trees and stuff but uh man it's a hot one man guys the trout came and saved the day let's get it guys uh i can't believe it because it was such a dead day but uh, hey i'm glad it was that they came out because other than that as i was uh, my spirits were low guys when i got here yeah guys we're gonna try a trout for the first time or fresh trout i probably have had trout before i'm not exactly sure it's the first time i catch one take it home cook it and clean it for me guys uh so let's see what happens guys but yeah i'll let you guys uh see you guys there and uh hopefully it tastes great guys see ya all right guys well here he is lunch <laughs> hopefully i do a better fillet job than i did on the uh the whiting but uh yeah let's see how much meat we get off this guys all right see ya right guys well compared to my other fillets these are looking great <laughs> and look guys i got him down to the bone i mean i missed a little by the tail there but uh and a tiny bit up here by the by the uh, mouth i mean the uh, head but hey guys i gotta give it to myself that's a way better fillet job than what i did the last time look at this and uh this one's missing a chunk because that's where uh he had that wound guys so i just kind of cut it off i didn't want to uh i don't know you know I, I don't know what it was a wound from so uh yeah guys and then i cut the rib uh, meat off this fillet came out beautiful man look at that i'm getting better at this guys <laughs> good and it ain't gonna get any fresher than this i'll tell you what i just caught this guy about 45 minutes ago or so guys so yep let me get in there in the kitchen and cook it up guys see y'all there 
Right guys, well, here we are. I already got freshened up, took a shower guys, and I'm ready to cook. Um, yeah guys, I'm pretty simple when it comes to my frying fried fish. I just like a little bit of seasoning, just some salt, and uh, salt, and uh, whatever kind of breading I have. Right now I have this uh, New Orleans fish fry or whatever. Uh, that's what I'm gonna use today, is just to try this trout out. I don't really want to do too much to it because I kind of want to taste the trout. Obviously the frying and the, the seasoned uh, fish fry mix right here is gonna uh, take a little away from it, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to taste it, guys. So yeah, I'll just, uh, I just the reason I put this on there, which I probably shouldn't even do that, but uh, I, I like a little kick in my food, guys. So uh, this little blackened stuff is uh, pretty good to me. Just a little bit of salt. Rub it in a little, guys, and I'll flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. So, a little bit on this side. I almost, I'm starting to think if I want to do it without the fish fry, guys. <laughs> but, uh, nah. All right, well, yeah, now, next I'll dip it in there when the oil is ready, and uh, I'll just put it in the pan, guys, fry it up. Let me uh get the oil hot, and uh, see you guys when I put them in. All right, guys, well, I already breaded one of them up. Yeah, my oil is nice and hot, guys, and uh, here we go. It really doesn't get any fresher than this, guys. I promise you, it doesn't. Yeah, guys. Let me uh, bread this other one up real quick, and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm putting this one in. Wow, guys, that smells delicious. Here you go, guys. I got the other one all breaded up now. Shake the excess off and uh, pour it in as well. Oh yeah, man, it smells so good, guys. Let me give this one a little flip here. But man, I, I actually, uh, I gotta give my uh, filet rating at least a, I'd say a six out of 10, guys. It definitely doubled from the whiting. The whiting was a three out of 10 all day. I, I'll take that one on the chin, guys. But uh, look at this filet. That, that one pretty much came out full. And the only reason this one doesn't look as full is mainly because of uh, that little uh, wound he had on him, guys. I just wasn't risking it. I was like, you know what, let me just cut it off. But uh, man, guys, I wish you guys could smell this. I really do. It smells delicious. Oh man, wow. I don't know guys, I might have to go hunting for some trout if I like this, but I I will say it's probably gonna be very hard to beat some of the fish that I've already eaten because uh, you guys are gonna see I had a, a pompano and uh, that there has gotta take the cake, but uh, we'll, we'll see where I rank this. I mean, uh, I've now had snapper, whiting, and uh, pompano, and this is gonna be the trout, so uh, We'll see, guys. Uh, you never know, I guess. Uh, I'll definitely give you guys a ranking what I think it is going to be. I can't wait to eat this. I'm starving, too. I actually had nothing to uh, eat before I left because I won't lie to you guys. I thought I was going to get lucky at that first spot <laughs> at the seawall, guys. I really did. I, I thought that, that I wasn't going to have to do anything after that. But uh, as you guys seen, I had to improvise. I had to uh, head out and go somewhere else, take my shrimp somewhere else because I'm lane snappers. I get tired of them, guys. But uh yeah, uh, let me cook this up, guys, and I'll see you guys at the dinner table when I'm ready to serve it up and ready to eat, guys. See ya. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at that. Man. You know, I'd pay for that. <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, guys. And uh, I still haven't got me no cocktail sauce, guys. I keep forgetting when I go to the store. I need to stop. But uh, luckily, I got these uh, dipping sauce ones that uh, I get from just places that I order food from. But uh, man, look at this, guys. Oh, man, I don't even know where to start. But uh, I'm going to take this tiny little piece off right here of this. Uh... All right, guys. Let's give it a shot. See what uh, spotted sea trout tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Wow, that's really good. Oh man. I don't I'm gonna have to think about this one guys, how I'm gonna rank these, cause uh once I'm done with this, I'll probably think about it. But that was delicious, guys. And that was on its own. That was with nothing. Uh wow. I'm surprised, guys. I really am. I, I'm not gonna lie because one thing about uh, trout that I've noticed is anytime I catch them or pull them out, um, they're slimy, you know? So I, in my mind, I was like, man, they're gonna be like super fishy or something, but uh, maybe it's the way I made it. Maybe it's uh, just how they taste, but um, that was tasty, guys. 
I, I really enjoyed that one there. Let me uh get another bite, guys. All right, this time I'm gonna have it with a little bit of cocktail. You know, it's just how I prefer it. Just a tiny bit, just so I can get a, a good second taste of it. I don't, I don't know what to say, guys. It's good. Man. I definitely think this beats the whiting for sure. Not the pompano. Not the pompano, guys. I will say that. But this beats the whiting for sure. Man, that's good. But uh, yeah, guys, um, it doesn't get any fresher than this either. I promise you. An hour ago, that fish was still swimming in that uh, in those mangroves. And uh, just happened to get on my hook. And guess what, guys? I brought him home. And uh, I'm blessed to be able to go out there and do that, guys. Because, uh, you know, the fresh fish, is, it's pretty expensive, guys. And uh, me, I, I just... I recently got this uh, hobby of going fishing and uh, I've always enjoyed seafood to the max. That, that's been one of my favorite foods ever. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, now I can go and catch my own seafood, bring it home to my table, cook it up the way I want it and uh, eat it, guys. Right now I'm about to pig out, eat the rest of this food. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. And uh, oh, if any of you guys have any uh, recipes for uh uh, maybe not mangrove because those are probably the harder ones for me to get but uh whiting sea trout uh, I, i'm gonna keep trying for pompano guys but uh sometimes the thing with pompano is where i catch them it's a good two hour drive so uh when i can I got my, i'm going out there for sure because that's my favorite fish from, from now and uh it's the funnest honestly so uh, i'll be out there still don't don't take it the wrong way i'm gonna go out there but uh yeah, so if you got any recipes for that one too, let me know. Also, I guess include mangrove because we all guys have a recipe for mangrove. I'm going to keep trying to catch mangrove. I kind of know when I can get mangrove, but uh, it's normally an afternoon bite in my area for mangrove. And a lot of times I don't have time around there during that time. But uh, I'm still going to keep trying, guys. Remember, guys, I'll be back here next week. Catch my video again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please, if you guys could just, just leave a like or like I said, a view to me, it, that's enough. So whatever, but... If you guys could subscribe too, I guess that'd be pretty cool or leave a comment down or it's just something guys to help me out. But uh, anyways, I appreciate everyone who uh, interacts with my stuff and uh, you guys seen, I, I tried hard to get you guys content today. I, I failed in the first spot, but guess what? I went to another spot and uh, I caught some trout and ladyfish, a couple of little species guys. Uh, anyways, I'll catch you guys here on the next adventure guys next week. But uh, until then, I hope you guys have a blessed week. And remember, guys, always stay positive. See you guys next week. See you.